if you take the frequency that frequency is is equal to and denoted with nu and nu is equal to 1 by t that is 1 by time period and unit of frequency is heads and the unit of frequency is heads and the symbol is hz here frequency means the number of repetitions in one second the number of repetitions in one second is called frequency of an object here frequency means the number of repetitions in one second here hedge is the hedge is the scientist name hedge is the scientist name after after discovering this uh, radio waves then the frequency name uh, the frequency unit named as the hertz rudolf hertz here this is about a time period and a frequency here now displacement displacement if we observe the load if we observe a load which is connected to a spring here i am taking a load which is connected to a support with the spring if we pull this uh, load at one side then it makes it makes some oscillations and uh, then the displacement the displacement of this load is calculated from the mean position this is the mean position and uh, the displacement of the displacement of the mo the object that is the load connected to a spring is calculated from the mean position or equilibrium position or if we observe the motion of the pendulum if you observe the motion of the pendulum then the motion of the pendulum displacement is given by the angle here the motion of the pendulum the displacement of the motion of the pendulum is given by the angle angle here the displacement of the loaded spring is given uh, is calculated from the mean position and the displacement of the pendulum is calculated by an angle and the displacement of if we observe the ac power supply if we observe the ac power supply the ac power supply the ac power supply is moving from alternatingly from positive to negative and uh, about the zero value and for the capacitor if we take the capacitor the capacitors the displacement of the voltage in a capacitor the displacement of the voltage in a capacitor is calculated from the positive value to negative value and about the zero value here this is about the displacement and uh, if we observe the vibrations if we observe the vibrations of molecules in the air okay here the vibrations of molecules in air when the sound is propagating when the sound is propagating then the variations of temperature the variations of temperature is giving the displacement of an up displacement of the molecule here that means displacement is not only directly the distance here the displacement is calculated in the various types that means here in this the displacement is calculated from the mean position and the displacement is calculated here that is by the angle and in the capacitor the voltage the voltage variations the voltage changing is giving the displacement and uh, pressure variations if the sound is uh, and uh, if the sound is traveling in a medium that means the vibrations of molecules the displacement is given by the pressure variations pressure variations it gives the pressure variations and uh, if we the changing of magnet electric and magnetic fields here 
the light waves are traveling in a medium the light waves are traveling in a medium then the displacement of these light waves giving the changing of electric and magnetic field changing of electric and uh, magnetic field these are the different uh, types of displacements we have that means the calculation of displacement is based on the of the motion of the object now we are going to study simple harmonic motion simple harmonic motion here simple harmonic motion simple harmonic motion means here the motion of an object the motion of an object is that means the motion of an object is moving to and fro motion about its uh, mean position to and fro motion about its mean position in along a straight line and the acceleration of an object the acceleration of an object is directly proportional to displacement and oppositely directed this is called a simple harmonic motion simple harmonic motion means here the motion of an object is the motion of an object is along the is a to and fro motion about the mean position along a straight line then the acceleration of the object is directly proportional to the displacement here the acceleration of an object is denoted with a then it is directly proportional to the displacement and uh, oppositely directed from the mean position when in this simple harmonic motion when an object is moving about the mean position then the object again comes to again passing through the mean position if we see this one here the object is moving towards the mean position and again and again because here a force is acting in the object the force is acting towards the mean position that is called a restoring force and uh, for this uh, by this uh, restoring force the acceleration of an object increases the acceleration of an object increases for the by the restoring force towards the main position now ex examples for the simple harmonic motion then the motion of the motion of simple pendulum the motion of simple pendulum it is the example for simple harmonic motion and the projection of the projection of uniform circular motion uniform circular motion uniform circular motion on the diameter of the uniform circular motion here next the motion of the prongs of a tuning fork prongs of a tuning fork this is also an example for the simple harmonic motion and uh, if we observe the if we observe the test tube here the motion of the test tube motion of the test tube means here if we take some lead shots here for example if this is the test tube and uh, in this test tube if we take the lead shots and place it in the water then the motion of the test tube is also the same uh, is example for the simple harmonic motions and the oscillations of a liquid column if we take some water in the test tube or in test tube then the motion of oscillations of liquid columns in a test tube and uh, okay these are the some examples for the simple harmonic motion now we are going to discuss the motion of the motion of the motion of projection of an object on the uniform circular motion 